Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I record in 1080p. This video is geared towards more of screen recording. As you can tell in all my videos, I use a screen recorder, not an actual camera recording the screen. It's not that hard to get 1080p video. Um, as you can tell, though, about five months ago, I had a hard time getting it. Um, actually, I watched a Call of Duty video uh, explaining how to get 1080p Call of Duty videos, and that's how I actually got to this. So as you can tell, my newer videos um, have much better quality, and overall they're just better looking. So to actually get an HD um, video, you're going to need an HD monitor. So either an HD screen on your laptop or an HD actual monitor. And to get half an HD monitor, it has to be 1280 by 720 or higher. So basically, as long as you can get 720 or, 10, or 1080 on the second set, you have an HD monitor you'll have an HD display and you'll have an HD video. There are ways to record and get um, upscale it to 1080p so it shows 1080p on YouTube. It actually still won't be 1080p quality though. As you can tell I have a 1080p monitor and I have two of them. If you record with two monitors it looks pretty ugly like this right here. They're basically both zoomed out so you can see them both clearly. So overall I don't record two monitors. I usually have notes on one and then record the other. Now to actually record and edit my videos, I use Camtasia Studio. It's not the highest end um, video editing software, but it works fine for YouTube videos. I don't do much to my videos. I usually just add, you know, captions or highlight stuff using the little markers and stuff like that. So it's pretty simple to use and it's great overall software. So here I'm setting the resolution. Now you can do a custom resolution by dragging the cursor back and forth or you can click full screen and it does your full resolution of your monitor which is for me a 1080p monitor. Now I'll show you guys the options that I use. I record in the .camerec file. I do this because it records system audio and it's actually really easy to edit with if you're using Camtasia Studio. You still have the option to record as AVI if you prefer using a different editor. Now because I do, I do use Camtasia Studio, uh, my options are a bit different, but what I'll do is I will have um, my settings in the description below so you can go through and check them out. I record in 30 frames per second and I use a TechSmith screen codec 2 and configure it to the highest quality. Um, this just compresses it a bit. If you don't want to use a compressor, you can click none and it'll just have a bigger file size. So to actually record this program, it's pretty simple. Uh, just press the big record button, it'll give you a timer, and then it starts to record. Nice thing about having two monitors is that I have it up still on the other monitor and I can see the timer and I can easily pause and stop the video and do that kind of stuff. So basically now I'm just gonna, I record a video, so I just do my tutorial or whatever I'm doing. I just do whatever I'm gonna do. And then when I'm done, I go over to this thing, click stop it will automatically pull up a preview of the video um, does that for you and then once you're done looking at it if you actually want to start editing it and render it to final you click save and edit it will open automatically open up the Camtasia Studio um, editor file or editor program now if you record it as an AVI file you can obviously bring it other places but because I record in camera file I have to edit it in Camtasia Studio as soon as I bring Nope, though, it's going to ask me what dimensions I want to use. Um, this is similar over all programs. I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080 because that's the recording um, dimensions I used, and that's the type of quality I want for my video. It's very similar in all programs. All programs normally ask you for that, so you're going to want to type in that quality. Now, I might ask you for some other quality. Um, dimensions stuff like that I'll have that in the description below you can check that out so I'll show you guys exactly what I um, render with here so I have a preset that I set up it's much easier to do and I would suggest doing it on whatever program you use as well but I will show you the settings I use for the YouTube 1080p setup that I use so it's a 1080p video obviously it's a Windows Me WMV file I use Camtasia's best quality and file size um, format. I'll have 
the details that you see there all in the description below. So it has things like the audio, um, video size, and bit rate, all that kind of stuff. I'll have all that pasted into the description below so you can obviously read it and base it off. Video size is set to um, 1920 by 1080 which is 1080p and that's about it. So next thing all I have to do is click the, that one and click next. Choose where, I, choose where I want to save it and click render. Now getting 1080p video I find it can be challenging. Um, it's going to take you a bit to do um, but I'll have my settings obviously below and what you want to do is base it off of that. You might have to tweak a little bit for your system and um, tweak a little bit for you to get yours to work properly but this is a good base to start off at. Now I am recording a 9 second video and normally an AVI file be faster a bit slower because it hasn't actually rendered yet. Um, the AVI file or the camera file is a, like an unrendered version of the video. Once it's done, it pulls up the file editing and then it's done and then it's ready to upload to YouTube. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below. And um, of course, guys, happy hacking and of course, good luck with your 1080p videos. This is the Hacker Triple O Seven, and I'm signing off.